Genesis 1-1 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see when my Lord is living in me. I know that Jesus is what men alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Psalm 118.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Who and why? There's a fountain flowing in and why? Who and why? Who and why? There's a fountain flowing in and why? Who and who? Who and who? There's a fountain flowing in and who? Who and who? Who and who? There's a fountain flowing in and who? Mm-hmm. 
week. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Laddie will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. See how he moves. Like a lion chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. It's why this oh, how smooth his motion. Like butter on a pelón. bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los All the vegetables. Envy their friend. Wishing to dance as he. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentinian garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su voz fuerte. Como un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que sopla su garganta. The from his throat is like a chorus of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envíen a su amigo. Como él quiere cantar. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Sing, sing, yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y dulce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un silbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, señor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me. I sit alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E
The Gospel of Luke opened with the birth of Jesus. Then Luke showed us how Jesus was Israel's Messiah announcing the good news of God's kingdom to the poor and how he was God's true prophet to Israel. In this next section, Jesus sets out with his disciples on a long road trip to Jerusalem where they'll join thousands of Israelites to celebrate the ancient feast of Passover. Now, Luke wants this road trip from the mountain to Jerusalem to remind you of ancient Israel's long road trip. With Moses, they went from Mount Sinai to the Promised Land. And then later, King David established Jerusalem as their capital. And so here, Luke is portraying Jesus as a new Moses, who's renewing Israel's covenant with God, and as a new David. He's gathering the people together to live under his rule. As Jesus leaves, he sends out a wave of his followers ahead of him to prepare each new place for his visit. Then Jesus would arrive, announcing the good news of God's kingdom, and he would call people to follow him and join this new thing God was doing in Israel. There are many of his teachings and parables in this section, specifically about how following Jesus will force you to totally rethink your money, how you resolve conflict, and how you treat the poor. In every town, Jesus would create communities of people who were learning to live in a totally new way so that greed would be transformed into generosity and anger into forgiveness. And in these Jesus communities, all outsiders are welcome. Yeah, good news for the poor. That's one of Luke's main themes. Yeah, you'll find it all over this section. The marginalized people that he heals, the shamed sex workers he reaches out to, the tax collectors he includes. This is Jesus's kingdom crew. And Israel's religious leaders watch and start to criticize him. If he really is God's prophet, why is he welcoming sinners and eating with them? Yeah, this section reads like the battle of the banquets. So Jesus throws these dinner parties as a symbol of how God's kingdom is here for the sick and the poor, people who could never pay him back. Jesus Jesus also attends banquets with Israel's religious leaders. Yeah, and he lays into them for becoming an arrogant, exclusive social club. But they don't get it, and so he tells them a famous parable that goes like this. There was a father who had two sons. The older son is trustworthy and honors his father. And the younger son, he's a mess. He rebels and cashes in his inheritance to travel far away and blow it all on partying and being stupid. And then there's a famine in the land and he runs out of money. So he has to scrape by by taking care of somebody's pigs. And he's so hungry he wants to eat the pig slop, at which point it occurs to him, if I'm gonna be a farm hand, I might as well go home and work for my dad. At least I won't be eating pig food. So he treks back home, rehearsing his apology. Now, the father is certain that his son did not survive the famine. But then, one day, he sees someone walking down the road. It's his son. He's not dead. And so the father runs to him and embraces his son, kissing him all over. The son starts his speech. Dad, I don't deserve to be your son. Maybe I could come and work for you. But before he can finish, the father calls his servants to go get the nicest robe, new sandals, a fancy ring for his son. They are to prepare the best food for a banquet. It is time to celebrate. Now later that day, the older brother arrives from a long day working in the field to discover his long lost loser of a brother has come home. And they're celebrating? And he gets angry. And think about it. He's been faithful to his father all of these years. He never got a party like this. And and then this disgrace of a family member comes home and they're going to celebrate him? It's disgusting. He refuses to join the banquet. So the father finds the older brother outside and he says, Son, you are already in our family. Everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate your brother because he was lost. And now he's found. He was dead. But now he's alive. Jesus wants the religious leaders to see the outsiders the way God sees them, as sons and daughters that are being reclaimed from death. Jesus' kingdom community was wide open to anybody. The only entry requirement is to humble yourself and recognize your need for God's mercy. And so the religious leader's rejection of Jesus and his crew is actually a rejection of the God of Israel. The leaders don't like all of this. And so as Jesus' road trip comes to an end, the conflict is at a boiling point. Yeah, he's going to ride towards Jerusalem. Jerusalem for Passover as they plot to take his life. And that's what the next section of Luke is all about.
the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. What else you got? I've got the peace that passes understanding. Understanding down in my heart Where? Down in my heart to say And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Down in my heart And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeeming way down in the depths of my heart Where? Down in the depths of my heart Where? Down in the depths of my heart I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeeming way down in the depths of my heart Where?
117. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. And Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. And Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who makes us happy when we're sad? Loves us even when we're bad. Who with his present makes us glad? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who was it hung upon a tree? Suffered shame for you and me Who was it died to make us free? Nobody but my Lord Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but, Nobody but my Lord and Master Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord Colossians 3.17 Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. 